So, so take a look at this. Take a look at this. So our buddy Biden becomes president, right? When he becomes president, he goes on an executive order frenzy, right? Yeah, big time. And he said in an interview, I think it was last year when they asked him, they said, what do you think about executive orders? He said, I think executive orders, if you do it without asking the other side, you're a dictator. What's the difference between a dictator and someone? So this is, he says this in an interview. You can see this. It's How long everywhere, ago was that right? interview? Less than a year ago wow. is what it was, right? <laughs> a year, give or take a year ago. So he oh, becomes right. a president. Day one, executive order. Paris climate change. Ending ban on U.S. entry from majority Muslim countries. Requiring mask wearing on federal property. Coordinating a, a, a government-wide... COVID-19 response, incorporating do undocumented immigrants into uh, census, uh, refusing, uh, refocusing on climate crisis and canceling the Keystone, Keystone XL permit, which was massive, uh, mandating ethics, ethics pledge for government appointees, pulling funds from border wall, pausing federal student loan payments, strengthening mm -hmm. deferred action for childhood arrivals, promoting COVID-19 safety in domestic and international travel, Expanding access to COVID-19 treatments, establishing a COVID-19 pandemic testing board, ex uh, 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 guaranteeing unemployment insurance for workers who refuse work due to COVID-19, facilitating delivery for stimulus payments, empowering federal workers and contractors, okay, reversing transgender military ban, reinstating COVID-19 travel restrictions, promoting Buy America agenda, and reliance on private prisons. Initiating plan to combat climate change. Re By the way, I'm not done. Reestablishing Presidential Council on Science and Technology. Well, we've got like 10 pages. I, 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 to, yeah, I, I mean, I can keep going. Yeah. You know, reinforcing Medicaid and Affordable Health Care Act. Okay, 35 executive orders, mm -hmm. seven memorandums, and three proclamations. And if you pull up the history of who's had the most executive orders, this is what you would find. Okay, go up. So here's the leaders in executive orders. Biden... Okay, go up a little bit so I can read exactly what the timeline. Biden's fury, uh, flurry of executive order standouts. In his first two weeks, President Biden has signed more executive orders. Uh, 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 most recent presidents did in their first month. He has signed nearly as many executive orders as FDR did in his record-breaking month. So mm -hmm. FDR did 30. Biden did 28. Look who's third. Obama is third at what? 16. 16. You take Trump out, who's fourth? Truman. Truman. Now watch this. Why did I say if you take Trump out? Here's why. The left typically likes to enforce through force. We're doing this whether you like it or not, is the left, right? The right wants to... Uh, uh, was Truman, Truman was a Democrat. Yes. Eisenhower Republic. Now, now watch this. Now watch this. Now watch this. Trump is at 12. What does that say about Trump? Trump's not a Republican. <laughs> People don't realize Trump was never a Republican. Trump is independent. Trump was a Democrat for most of his career. Now he's a Republican for the last however long decade of his career. Trump still did 12 executive orders. Mm -hmm. That is an independent. You look at the rest. Bush, seven. Clinton, six. G.H.W. Bush, senior, two. He, he was just like, I'm not even having any executive orders in the first 30 days. Reagan, five. Carter, left. Seven. Ford, five. On the right. Nixon, five. On the right. Johnson, left. Seven. Kennedy, left. Seven. Eisenhower, right. Six. Truman, left. Thirteen. This tells you about... How they look at executive orders. So what does this have to do with what we were talking about earlier mm -hmm. with, uh, uh, with, what do you call it, with uh, Wall Street bets? If, uh, if the right people want to just go out and create a new law and push Wall Street bets around, they can easily do it. You know why? Most of these guys on the left were funded by Wall Street. So if you get funded by Wall Street, you have to kind of realize, just like the company we talked about, Robinhood, which is what? You campaign for the little person, the small people, the people that don't have, don't have the money, but you report to who? The people that the people the gave you big money. Yeah, of course. Wall Street people that give you the big money. This is this, this no, no different here. You, you campaign, we got to help the, but you have to report to the people that funded your campaign. And if you don't make that phone call and the campaign people call you and say, hey, listen, we gave you this much money. Here's what you need to do here. We need a law, ba 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 ba. We need barrier to enter. Ba, 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 ba. We need somebody to go look at Wall Street bets and investigate. And we need somebody. To, that's how this thing works. I'm, I am fully on Wall Street's bet side. I'd like you are. one hundred percent. Okay. Are you? What do you mean? I, of course okay, you are. One hundred percent. But you need contacts. 
So hopefully these Shamats and Musks and all these other guys are so on their side that they protect them. Hopefully. That's who they need. Well, That's who Shamat need. has basically come out and said that he's on this on this team and he donated uh, yeah. like a, half a million, a half million bucks to, to Barstool. Yeah, yeah he did. Uh, fun. The business thing. Yeah. Uh, so with, with uh, I mean, I don't know how much time you want to spend on Biden's executive. We have like 12 pages. Go for just it. On, Go for it. You know, I went through some of these and let me give you, I guess, my perspective on this. I went, uh, there's a probably four pages. I don't disagree with a lot of these things. Yeah. You know, so let me give you two sides of the coin here on Biden. Number one, he came out there and he said, what's the quote that you said? If you do too many executive you're a dictator. orders, you're, you're a dictator. Yeah. At the same time, he's just reversing a lot of what Trump just did. So rever Trump came in, reversed a lot of what Obama did. Obama, uh, uh, yeah, Biden's but so do in. the other presidents can do the same thing. Totally with you. But he's that. doing it more than what's, the others. What's the one thing in common with who FDR when he was the president in 1933? What's, what do they world have? World War. They had a crisis. They just had a freaking. They just got out of the Great Depression in the middle of the Great yeah. Depression. Now they're in World sure. War II. So Biden, because uh, again, this is in the first month of the presidency, right? This is what this stat is. Trump came in, and there wasn't a lot to quote unquote change. He did it, you know, in my opinion, a lot of it out of spite, a lot of it of like, well, Obama did this, I'm doing this. Yeah. Biden is coming in. A lot of his mask mandates, you know, executive orders on, on climate crisis. You know, obviously he's no fan of big, uh, big oil. Um, a lot of it is COVID-related executive Why don't you ask orders. the other side? Why don't you ask the other side? Well, that's the, my next point. Why don't you ask the other side? Why don't you just say, yeah. hey, guys, if it's not that big of a deal, why don't you ask him? I don't know how that works within Congress, but well, yes. His if whole it's not a big deal, why don't you ask him and sit down and say, guys, here's what I wonder. What do you think about that? Yeah. And let them say we disagree. Okay, I'm going to do it anyways. How long does that take, though? Because this, this political, politically, it could take weeks, so, months, so the, freaking so the, years to get stuff no, done. He's not, like, look, let's not, get it done. Not, listen, for me, here's, here's like my approach. You know, Tico and Dylan get into it, mm -hmm. okay? Did you guys try to address it with each other? No, I don't want to talk to them. I can't help you. Talk mm -hmm. to each other. Yeah. Get in a room and figure it out. Then come out and still do the executive order. I'm good because now you can say what? Look, I went into the room and I talked to look, these we guys. We tried to talk about They didn't want to talk to me. Yeah. Okay, cool. The, the people are going to say, you know what? Fine. It, but you at least made what? The effort mm -hmm. that, hey, here's where we are. This is what I want to do. You know, it, 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 you can't drop the word unity and not do that. So, for example, if your campaign, Jimmy Carter's mm -hmm. campaign was what? Human rights. Okay. And he targeted two countries, Iran and Cuba. Mm -hmm. Okay. Human rights. Late 70s. Late 70s. Human rights. Human rights. If that's your campaign, you better advance right. that campaign. Trump's campaign was what? Build a wall. Build a wall. Build Make a wall. America build a wall. Yeah. Make, but it was build a wall. Build a wall. Build a wall. Guess what? He started building a wall, right? That's what I need to do. Taxes. Build a wall, etc. He said what he's going to do. Great. If you say unify, you got to unify. Mm -hmm. You. But so then don't say unify. Obama said what? Change. Change to what? Change of philosophy. Change of what? Obamacare. Healthcare. Guess what? He kept his commitment of, I'm going to go out there and make change. Now, he got up and says, it's not going to cost you a penny. We're not going to tax you. You can keep your plan keep if you want doctor. to. That was not the truth. Mm -hmm. It wasn't the truth. But he did make drastic changes, scary changes for some people on the other side, but he kept his commitment. You can't say unify. Is that, is that basically your point here on Biden? Is that you're saying, Let's, I'm going to be the president Listen, for all the Biden's people. Biden's been We're known as the centrist. You're yeah. the centrist. You're, let's just say you're a center left guy, et cetera. Okay, great. Show a little bit. And of now it. he's coming in as a dictator. Now That's he's essentially your he's point. coming in on what he called a dictator, not yeah. what I call yeah, a yeah, dictator. Yeah, yeah. His interpretation of a dictator. I never mm -hmm. said he's a dictator. He said he's a dictator. That's what Biden called himself. Is it the fact that um, you don't agree with some of the executive actions, or just the fact that he's making executive actions regardless of what the uh, actions are? You, you understand my question? Is it? I just don't like that he's doing executive actions, or I don't like exactly what they are. No, listen. Or is it a little bit of both. If, if Trump came out and says, I'm going to do all executive orders, mm -hmm. and you do, well, you said you were going to do that. Yeah. So, just you said you're going to do that. Then do that. It's all good. You, we knew he was going to do that. So, the people who voted for him, guess what they wanted? A bunch of what? Executive, executive orders. orders. Yeah. And he did it. This guy didn't come out saying, I'm going to do a bunch of executive orders. Gotcha. Okay. He did say a couple, but he didn't come out saying, like he said, climate, you know, day one, I'm going to do Paris. Climate. Minimum okay. wage. He did say Paris, those things. Yes. Totally fine. Yes. But this many, a little bit, a little bit. It's aggressive. It's a little aggressive on what it's he's aggressive. doing. So, again, the, the, the parlor, the Robin Hood, the, the, 
the amount of executive orders, somehow, someway, they're all tied to each other. So if you enjoyed this little short segment from the podcast that we did, here's another short segment to watch. Or if you want to see the entire podcast, click over here. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.